Hello everyone, I'm here once again and in today's video I would like to share the readings for this coming Sunday, July 16, 2024. To start with, let's have our opening prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for this opportunity that you give us the time to listen to your words, O Lord. Please send us your Holy Spirit that we may understand the readings that we're going to take up. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So, brothers and sisters, since we have already our opening prayer, let's proceed to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once. For the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade with many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it without parables he did not speak to them but to his own disciples he explained everything in private the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Here, my brothers and sisters, in the Holy Gospel, in the first parable, Jesus told about the man's scattered seed. So it is like us, all of us. We scattered seed here in the world. The seed that is bad or good. So if we uh, plant good seed, among our brothers and sisters it will bear fruit bear fruit and have branches have branches and bear fruit and the birds will dwell on it meaning our brothers and sisters can benefit from the good works we we did from the good works that we're doing ayan po and in the second parable it is the mustard seed a small seed that will that when we sow it in the soil it will become big tree so meaning if we planted good deeds even a small act of mercy to our brothers and sisters it will grow sprung up and yield fruits and birds of the sky meaning uh, our brothers and sisters can benefit the good deeds that we're doing and on the time of judgment God will uh, will judge us according to our deeds whether 
bad or good. Amen. So brothers and sisters, let's proceed to the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches, tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. In the high mountain heights of Israel I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every, every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring law, the high trees, left high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, spoken, as I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here my brothers and sisters, Prophet Ezekiel said that Yahweh will plant a, a cedar, uh, that, that Yahweh will take a tender shoot from the cedar, and he will plant it in the higher mountain. So that uh, plant, meaning his word, he planted each one of us, and it's up to us how we dwell on it. If we um, put it into action, if he, we follow it, his words, and do good, so in the time of judgment, he will judge us according to our deeds. Because he is the powerful, almighty God knows our heart, whether we're doing good or bad. If, we do, we doing, <clears throat> if we're doing good, we, he will bring us to heaven. And if we're doing bad, he will throw us to eternal fire. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, let's proceed to the second reading. A reading from the letter of from the second letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are all courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please Him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment set of Christ, so that it may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, my brothers and sisters, in the second in the second reading, Saint Paul encourages the people of Corinthians to be courageous, even if we are in the body and away from God. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. 